Stephen, nothing each year at Station Park. Can you give us your thoughts on the game as a whole? I thought um, we dug in well at times. Um, it's, it's difficult when you're, you're turning up to a game. You know you can't go any higher, you can't go any lower in the league. So ultimately nothing to play for in that respect. But what we did say to the players, you know, I think the, the, the players that started are almost the nucleus that we're, we're keeping here. So we wanted to um, end it in a positive. Um, so that was nice comments for the Forfar fans. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, I, I thought uh, Forfar changed it up a wee bit in the respect that um, we've we've uh, been unbeaten against them. We beat them twice and drew with them. And uh, they came with a real high press and, and were aggressive. And, and I thought um, the boys done very well in the respect that we were trying to beat that first press. And they still remained brave to take the ball. thought like Ross Forbes dropping into pockets, Ewan O'Reilly dropping into pockets, Adam Brown is still taking the ball, big gnat. And that, I said to them at half time, you know, that takes bravery. So we don't want to, um, we, want, we, we didn't want to deviate away from that because we felt as if we could keep keep going and get something off of her. Um, um, they obviously had some chances, but I felt as if we had chances with like, Ewan and Cammy at the end, a couple of uh, half chances in the first half with Tam get down the sides, Ewan get down the sides. Um, but, but listen, it's, um, it's an end of season, a point, a clean sheet will take the positives, and I thought the boys showed that that nucleus of players have got a real good spirit, um, and we've got a good nucleus going into next season. And now the players can kind of relax for you a bit, but for yourself and your backroom staff, it's I guess it's just you keep on going and looking for... Recruitment yeah. for next season. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a real, uh, it's like a full time, full time job. Sorry, um, and, and I think it will be slightly easier this year. Um, when we, we arrived uh, last year, it was a, it was a complete recruitment overhaul. Uh, we, the, the playing staff was in a bit of a mess. And uh, w I think you, you can see just now there's only two survivors for that squad, and Cammy Graham and Adam Corbett. So it kind of, it, it kind of puts it. In place that how much he, how much work was done in the summer, but I think regards to we'll probably be looking to have 11, 12 from this squad, which I think is a good number, um, because that 11, 12, as I said to you there, I think there's a real fighting spirit and there's a real togetherness within that squad, um, and if we keep in them and all we need to do is add to it. That tells me we're in a better place than we were last year, um, and that's what it's all about. You know, I I think I said to the players today, I think we've got to take on board that it's failure um, this year because that group of players should have been in the top four and I've got to take that on board um, but it's always a work in progress um, it's no easy to, to bring 20 new players in and hit it off right away so it's a it's a process as I say um, and you know you see the fans there going over and thank them for their support they've been brilliant this year and they realise that it is that work in progress and hopefully we can award them next year obviously during the closed season with some good signings but also reward them uh, next year with, with what we wanted to do this year Have you got any special thanks or special mentions to anyone for the uh, for the help over the course of the season. Um, listen, it's been a it's been a real team effort for, for everybody, for, for the board, um, for you, you media guys, we we race Ian and Cammy been absolutely first class. So I think everything in the club is has been great in regards to the the structure for the top all the way down. Um, you know we brought guys in like George Craig, um, who's who's kind of been a buffer between myself and the board. And um, what we real brought a, a real good recruitment team with, with Martin Christie um, heading that up as well. So I think the club in general is in a really good place, and uh, everybody's doing their bit. The analyst boys, Matty Rowan, you know, wee Joe as well, and uh, you know, I could I could go on and on how 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 much everybody's contributing to this club. And I think um, the fact is that we're in a really good place um, off the field. Now it's my job to kind of take the nucleus, as I keep saying to get that right and, and add to it and I think we'll, if we can get that right we'll, we'll have everything in place so it's in a good place as I say. Stephen we'll see you for season 2022-2023. Looking forward Cheers. to it. Cheers.